Hello gamers, this is Noobzilla. Once again, I'm checking out Rise of Metan. I had to start over for my character, but I went ahead and made an archer again. So let's just rush through this. Okay, I'll receive 170 coins, 300 experience. Alrighty. Okay, blah 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 blah. Objectives. Go eliminate five husk scarabs. I'll receive 580 gold coins and 450 experience. Outstanding. Let's check out my gift here. I've obtained three revival mushrooms. Alrighty then. Last time I wasn't able to use my one key to kill these guys. Hopefully that works this time. Oh, it does. Sweet. And nothing has changed. It's still one shot glower. Uh, hopefully it's not like this at release, because nobody wants to one-shot. I'm not even using my special attacks at this point, I'm just right-clicking for the auto-attack. I mean, it has the look of uh, like a World of Warcraft, or Rift, or Warhammer. I mean, when it comes to like to the UI and the way the action bar is set up and everything. So if you like those games, this has a the same type of feel to it. I gotta say though, even though these guys die really fast, they give a lot less experience than in traditional MMOs because I've killed quite a few so far and I'm only, what, a fourth of the way through the level. So hopefully at higher levels it's not too bad. There's a chance that these guys just give a smaller amount of XP since we're in the starting area, but you know, some games if you look at a couple of mobs, you know, you get level two, but this one here not so much as of right now. I think you got an idea of what it's like for me to one shot these newbies, so I'm gonna go and pause this for now and then pick it back up once something interesting happens. So, by the looks of it, you'll have the traditional questing, the exclamation mark for somebody that has a quest for you. And as you can see here, there's the question mark for quests that you've completed that you need to turn in. Another thing about this game, whenever you have a quest, you can press down here on the quest itself and it runs you towards the next area that you need to go to. Not a huge fan of that. Okay, time to smack some of these little cinepars around. These guys are also one-shottable by the looks of it. Okay, this is my first time to loot a creature, so just the typical right-click to loot. Alright, there's a couple more here. When you go to right-click on them, it, it auto-loots, so that's cool. You don't have to click on any items or anything. Alright, I'll go ahead and click this and run back. Reach King to... it says Submit, but... I would imagine that'd be Submit. There's quite a few different obstacles that this company has to go through to translate their games, apparently, because every other thing I read gives me a headache. Why am I so adorable? Look at me. It's pretty much the coolest ever. All right, let's go and finish this. Looks like I got a new item here. Let's see what I got. The Wayfair Furious Bindings. All right, works for me. What is this going over here? Skill. Click learn to learn a new skill. This is gonna be the impact arrow. Learning this skill will cost 20 gold. Alrighty, that I can upgrade my old skill. Because I can upgrade it a couple times. Oh, because I'm level 3 now. Congratulations, me. Even though this says 5 or 6. Uh, okay. Alright. Um, I guess there's different combo skills in this game as well. 
That always keeps me on my toes. I like when there's combo skills. Okay. Cool beans. Let's go check out this glowing leaf. Run faster. Oh, there's arrows. In case we're completely stupid, they put arrows over each one. Because MMOs have to hold our hands to play nowadays. So, just to get this straight, I press a button, just one button, and it runs me over to the area. And then, in case I'm slow, they put arrows going over each one of the items as well. So I grab one of those, and then I press another button to run back to the quest giver. Not very engaging, but like I said, I'm lazy, so I won't complain too much. Let's go and turn this in. 640 coins, 850 experience. Blah, 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 blah. Why do I even need a radiant thing when I can just press this button? Oh, look at me there. I'm running pretty fast. It's kind of, kind of creepy looking. <laughs> That's great. And even though those guys have red health bars, they didn't aggro me when I run through them, so they only attack whenever you hit them. Well, I haven't been in this area yet, so wonder what is in store for me up here. You know, the graphics aren't, aren't too bad, really. For this type of uh, art style, it's uh, not too bad. Alright, here we go. Turn that stuff in. Press this button. Ooh, what do we have here? Alright, are these guys one-shottable? These guys are also one-shottable. That's surprising. Step right up. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, that should be enough. That is that. Press the button, reach Captain Kane to submit the quest. Racedorf, good, evil, blah, blah, blah. Constitution, strength, agility, intellect, vitality. Okay. Let's finish this quest. And I'll get my newbie gift because I'm a newbie. All right. Received one small bag. Left click it and drag it to the bag slot bar. Um, is it this? I don't want to do that. No, I'm not going to mess with this for now. Unless that can go up here. Aha! Lucky there. Noobzilla figured it out. Okay, Naga Soldier. Wow, I've never seen a Naga in a game before. And when I say that, I'm lying. Alright, let me see. Am I going to be able to one-shot these guys without using any abilities and auto-attack only? Let's find out. Yes. One down, two down, three down. Alright, one more. Press the button to run back. Well, if I ever get lost in this game at this rate, I should probably just delete it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here. This game. It's a little on the easy side so far. I hear that it picks up later on in the levels, so it's still worth checking out. Plus, you know, it's in beta, so things are always subject to change in betas. And I'm sure they will. I Oftentimes, they'll scale things down a little bit in beta. That way, you can progress a little bit faster, so you can check out the bugs. All right, let me go and turn this in and then wrap this up. All right, finish that. I'm going to accept this one for next time. All right, this was Rise of Metan B.
beta. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.